Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 69, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. We've been, um, we've been doing some, uh, split party work, which doesn't usually work out so too well, but, uh, so far we've been managing better than I would have expected. Better than usually happens when you split the party. So, my main character, the Exile, is captured by Godo. Uh, Atten is leading the charge to find me, and we've been making our way this way and that, including meeting up with Mira and finding out that we need some, we need to get, we need to find Godo's yacht, and it's hidden somewhere. Uh, where? I don't know. We'll find out. So, let's see if I can quietly leave and just, like, you know. Do, Wait, do, do. Where no. are you going? You are not authorized to leave the warehouse. I got two blasters that say I am. Oh, I'm not going to get a chance to use those. Huh. There you are. What kept you? <laughs> a couple of HK droids. Yeah, and some nonsense. I know there's droids in the warehouse. So what? No, 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 no. They're in a hidden room. And I'm going to get that out in like eight beeps. He says he's got the transponder codes to bogus freighters. One that can be picked up by Goto. We can change the ID signature of the Ebon Hawk and get to Goto's yacht that way. We could go to the repair shop by the landing pad to overhaul the Ebon Hawk's codes. From there, we should make a nice target for Goto. Count me in. Yeah, right. You're the one who wanted to sell him to Goto in the first place. Yeah. Fair point. And I don't like being cheated. Trust me. Goto's yacht is going to have some pretty heavy defenses. You're going to need all the help you can get. Mira has joined the party. She is equipped with a rocket launcher and has the special ability to avoid triggering mines while leading the party. Um, seriously? Yeah, go in and find out, but pay me cred my credits first. Oh, oh. Yes, yes, fair request. Shoot him. Oh, heh. <laughs> That's right, we're dealing with uh, a, another round of bounty hunters. Who appear to have found <laughs> incomprehensible chittering. That's what all these guys are. Come on. Give me some captions. Uh oh. We've got insects. Looks like the Gand colony's out in full force. Uh, heh. <laughs> A whole colony? The whole colony up and left some mid-rim world to come here. No one knows why. They haven't even done any bounties until your friend showed up. I guess whatever price oh. is on his head is enough to wake them up. Problem is, there's hundreds of them. Just like the Zug brothers. We're not getting out of here without a fight. You ready? Oh, yeah. If there's no other option. Hey. XP. And levels. Oh, good. We've got a full party, which is always nice. I, I need to get out in some more light side points. Uh, let's get Mr. T3 up. You, you can't trade T3 as a Jedi. So let's get our skill droid up and all his skills. Um, Why can I not uh, upgrade demolitions? Oh, interesting. Okay. Sure. And level them up again. Well, that was weird. All right. Uh, let's go security and repair and computer use. Demolitions and only one on awareness. Which is what I wanted to do the first time, but okay. Um. Even though I've spent so many extra skill points, uh, I want to add demolitions as a class skill. 
Just so that way I can use him for mine recovery and that sort of stuff. On the other hand, Weapons Focus Blaster Pistol gives me an extra plus one to attack, which would be good. Gearhead, that's, oh, that's only going to be repair security and computer use. Uh, caution is going to be demolitions and stealth. I don't really use stealth on anybody, but an extra plus one to demolitions would make up for the the scant skill points. Of course, so would uh, adding that as a class skill. All right, let's do let's do class skill demolitions, and then the blaster focus, and then we'll 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 go from there. So let's add that as a skill and accept. And that's it. That brings him up to level 15. I don't want to level her up because I do want to turn her into a Jedi at some point very closely. So we'll see if she can survive three levels behind. Yeah, because he's 13, she's 12. Okay, yeah, so she's not that far behind. We'll, we'll, we'll see how well she uh, she manages. Although, what's her dexterity? Her dexterity is a plus three. Uh, so I need armor that has a defense bonus better than five and plus three. Nope. Nope. That is exactly five. But you get the plus three. The only thing you don't get are the damage resistances. Um, hmm. Immune to critical hits. That's always nice. Oh, and she can't make use of any of the medium armors? Nope. Okay. Maybe we ought to get her a medium armor proficiency as soon as we can. Alright, immune to critical hits or just armor. Now let's do the immune to critical hits and we'll see if we can upgrade it at some future point. Alright, so we got all that squared away. I wouldn't mind finding uh, some more options there, but... Oh, because that's medium armor. Okay. And that's missing the feats. Okay. Alright, I guess that's, uh, that's as good as it's going to get. That's as good as it's going to get. Okay. Is this still empty? That's still <laughs> empty, too. All right. Then, before we go any further, let's go ahead and save the game, just in case this goes bad. I don't think it will. The, the rest of the battles have been kind of... have been surprisingly easy. Hi, guys. All right. Let's, uh... Start here. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get that. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not going to be able to get that healing any sooner. Heal! Oof. Dude, we need to get you some more force points. Like, with the quickness. Come on. Finish him. Oh. Oh, my. Yeah, kit, um, no, nope, not a repair kit. I need, do, 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 an advanced med pack. Or serious, man. Maybe I should have done the shield sooner. Uh, where's 
that repair kit. got another level again. Huh. And we got a new combat suit to look at. Okay. Locked. Locked. Everybody everybody in the fluff house is going to be locked away, aren't they? Med packs always nice. Oh, no. Okay, so that's everybody there. I'm going to check, even though I'm pretty sure I know exactly how this is going to go. That's going to be locked. Oh. Hi. Uh, not an ion grenade. Um. Sure. Why not? You know what? Let's, uh, do this. Since you guys are getting all close up anyway, right? You want to dance up close? Let's dance up close. Um, let's also get a mid pack in here. Huh? I keep forgetting it. Dude's got like no hit points. And no force points. Credits. What else we got? A Sith mask? What's the Sith mask do? Uh, do, do, do. The combat suit. Eh. Sith mask. Oh, requires heavy armor. So that means nobody here. Uh... But, all right, so you got to have heavy armor proficiency. I wonder if that counts as heavy armor for purposes of force powers. That'd be interesting to figure out. But you get the weapons focus lightsaber, immunity to stun, fear, horror, and you regenerate a force point. Or you get force point regen one. Uh, Mr. Atten, I might have to get you uh, heavy armor proficiency. Wait, what did I say? The chassis for this HK unit looks largely intact except for some noticeable blaster scoring in the chest region where the control cluster would be. Huh, imagine that. Uh, another shield, fire damage. Hmm. I just might want to do that. Um... Shock arm. That's unlimited energy use. Never mind. And the ion. I got three more hits left of ion damage. Let's, uh. 60 points of fire? Or 30 points? No. That does no damage but stuns. Let's go with the molten cannon. See how that works out. All right, and I know I'm not leveling her up, but since he's already a sentinel, let's uh, see what we can do about getting his vitality and force points up. Huh? Skills. He's only got three points to worry about now. Let's, um, hmm. Demolitions, treat injury, and we'll go security. Why not? That's not as bad, but okay. Force immunity, stun. Always good. Oh, so we could get him up to heavy armor proficiency right now. And that might help with his hit point problem. Uh, especially since for Atten, I'm not... I'm not, uh... Picking any powers that require light armor or no armor. So let's go ahead and load them up with all the heavy armor type stuff. Let's do it. Powers. Uh, 
He's already got the second level heal. He's already got Force Whirlwind, and he can't take Force Wave just yet. Um, I'm tempted to get him Force Aura, because that does seem to work uh, pretty well. No, not Force Aura. Uh, Force Valor. Force Valor does seem to work pretty well, but that is restricted by armor. That's why we didn't bother with any of that. Alright, so let's upgrade our stuns. Let's uh, start with uh, the stun for fleshy bits. Now that he has got heavy armor proficiency, that's dex plus two and some bonus feats. Or... Um, attack plus three, or force regen. Man, that mask is tempting just for the force regen, because, uh, man, he does not, he's slow to recover points. Although he's going to get those immunities anyway. Uh, the weapon's focus bonus feat's going to be nice, too. So, you know what? Let me, uh... Let me step back a little bit. Weapon's focus, weapon spec. Let me bump that up for, uh... For a bump to attack. No, no, let, let me just leave that. Let me leave that. Oh, I'm in combat, so I can't really equip anything anyway. Well, okay then. I didn't think I was still in combat. All combatants were, all known combatants were dead. There we go. All right, so now I can go from a, de a medium armor with a defense bonus of eight and a max dex of plus three. What is his dex again? Plus three. So anything that can keep my max dex at or around plus three. Uh, so eight plus three. Nine, ten, eleven. Ooh. He's going to get those immunities anyway. Yeah, that's actually going to take his total defense down. Not going to help that much. 8 plus 1, nah. Uh, that's going to net me the same basic, but... Alright. Yeah, I, I don't see where any of that's going to be any better. All right, let's, uh, since you guys seem to be doing the, uh, distance thing, I'll happily oblige. Oh, I definitely need to get a heal in there. Dude, you got a shield and everything. Yikes, man. Alright. Locked. Just double checking. Locked. Locked. Ooh, I can open that one. Let's, uh... Oh. Alright. Let's take care of business first. Hey! He actually got stunned. That's it, Mirror. Let's let you get all caught up in front of that and everything.
Just say the word. I want to figure out what's behind that other uh, that door that it looks like I can open. Is everybody done there? All right, everybody's done there. Pure Pazak. <laughs> Pure Pazak. Oh, all for an empty box? Seriously? All right. Ready? Um. Uh, get health up. I hear you. He's still regening points, but okay. Oh, great googly moogly. Okay. Uh, not a sonic detonator. Not a sonic grenade. Let's toss the adhesive grenade. Let's uh hit the state. You know what? No, let's not burn the force points on stasis. Let's attack. Attack. And heal, because I'll probably need it by then. Oh, lady, don't... Don't do that. Oh, she got stuck out there and everything. That's your own fault. Oh, oh, oh my. Never mind. They hurt. They hurt. All right, let's uh, do this. Let's do that. Ah. Oh. Uh, it's been a while since I saved, hasn't it? Okay. Let's burn him up. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, come on, man. Why did you run out into the middle of that? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Alright, this is not my ideal party. Oh, and we gotta start all the way back here? Are you kidding me? Alright. Alright, at least we know what's up until we get out there. I know not to bother trying all the doors and everything. Uh, she's the only one to level up at the moment. Can I change out my party? You're unable to change the party at this time. I know I can't remove her, but okay. Okay. I was hoping. I was hoping. Uh, Alright. Let's go... Which one's the... That's Dex. That's Constitution. Alright. So I need to hit him up with a stamina, like, early on. Like, right now. And then get that energy shield up, and then... And then let's go for the attacks. Okay, I, I was kind of hoping that they'd let me uh, continue doing that. Alright, come on. Come on. Mow him down. Mow him down. There we go. Alright, these guys want to do melee, so let's uh, switch to melee. Probably should switch mirror to melee too. Uh, 
Oh yeah, this Time is going much better. Much better. Alright, let's level him up again. Skills... Sure. I know that's not what we did the last time, but uh... I don't, I don't know that that part actually matters. Feats. Uh, yeah. For the same reasons as the last time, let's do the heavy armor again. Because we might be able to augment some heavy armor into something that fits better. And we want to upgrade the stun. Okay. We'll skip all those. So I can't remember. Yeah, these guys were. Uh, oh, no. Oh! Oh my! They just mowed her down. I didn't realize that. And it's time to switch back to melee, because apparently that's what we're doing. That's how this is going to go. Oh, seriously, dude. This is not helping, man. Sure. Let's cut him down. Oh, 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 no. Oh. That's what I get for not paying attention. Let's, uh... Let's get an advanced med pack in there. And then let's get another energy shield. And... And then an attack. Oh. We're just going to burn through some medbacks. It's, uh, you know what? Get a melee a shield in there. How about being smart like that? Since we seem to be in melee, too. Eh, why be smart? Come on, man. There we go. Say the word. And that tops everybody off. That loses him his scant few points. Is it me or did I get more lootable bodies the last time? Because it feels like I got more bodies to loot last time. Alright. Rather than rushing headlong in there without saving again. Let me go ahead and save. Since I apparently lost out on loot this go round. Uh, that's never going to be not frustrating. And, uh... Now let's run around the corner to our death. Alright, let's do this. Let's throw a poison grenade. 
switch to range and drop a couple of attacks. Oh, did you seriously have to get that close, man? Come on. <sighs> Are you kidding me? Alright, let's uh stun that guy and then start taking out that guy. That's another one for me. And back up. Let's get a med back in there now. And attack. Let's get a melee shield. Let's get oop. A life support pack. What else am I down for? Oh. Um. Oh, come on, man. That. Uh. Hmm. I don't think an ion blast is going to help him. All right, if this doesn't work, I'll switch T3 over to uh, the, the electrical blast instead of the ion blast. <sighs> He's not going to have to run up there, is he? Oh! Oh, looks like I'm going to be doing this one again, huh? Oh, wait. Atten's still alive? Huh. Uh, let me get a shield and a repair kit. Uh, no. Where's an advanced repair kit? There we go. Oh, nope. And he's down again. Nope. I got it. All right. This is uh, this is not going well. Of course, I keep trying to rush out and uh, ion blast. Oh. Oh, I do have the shock arm equipped. Hmm. All right. So as much as I don't like running down the shield that he's got, I kind of uh, uh nope. <laughs> as much as I don't like running running down the shield, this is not going to work out so well, and it looks like we're going to end up in uh, melee combat no matter what. So I think I'll leave him set up for melee. Um, I almost wonder. Because that is 5 to 14, plus 21. Do I have a better blaster? Uh, that's 1 to 6 unstoppable. 1 to 4, 1 to 4, 1 to 8. 1 to 10. Yeah. Alright, so this doesn't have as high a ceiling, but it's got better crit and it is unstoppable damage. So let's see if a more consistent lower damage is going to do better. Five to ten plus twenty one and two to thirteen. All right, so she's not that much better with the sword. Of 
course, I don't think I have the right sword for her anyway. Well, I could have sworn I'd already given somebody else the Trandosian sword. Yeah, since everybody else seems to be... Oh, I keep forgetting that she's got those darts, too. I should probably remember that at some point. Alright. Well. Do you want to see how the next round of this goes? <laughs> if you're watching live on the live stream, hang tight. Uh, you'll see exactly how the next round goes in just a minute. If you're watching later on YouTube... You'll just have to wait till the next episode. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.